Hi, Blake here with Screen Innovations. My good friend Amy down from Sony, Product Marketing Manager. You got it. Welcome That's to the World Headquarters. Well, thank you so much. It's great to be here at Screen yeah. Innovations. We're really excited to have you here, and you've brought a friend. I did, actually. <laughs> a brand new friend, the VPL VW 1000 ES. It's this is an amazing projector. Absolutely. We're looking at 4K resolution with the new Sony projector, but before we get into talking about resolution, i got to give a props to the design team. This thing looks yeah. like the Death Star. It does. It's, it's, it's intimidating. It definitely means business. It so. does. It's a very cool looking projector, just without even turning on the image. But let's face it, the image is what it's all about. Absolutely. 4K resolution. That could be a little confusing to folks. Let's, let's talk a little bit about what that means. So you're, you're right. 4K within the home theater market is definitely new, uh, the new exciting uh, trend. 4K refers to resolution, as you mentioned, and it's actually greater than four times the resolution of 1080p. Wow. Yeah, that amounts to about 8.8 .8 million pixels on the screen. That is truly amazing. I mean, we just got used to the fact of how amazing 1080p was. Yep. I, can, I mean, I've seen the resolution, so I can't say I can't believe it. <laughs> but when we were shooting this image up earlier on our Black Diamond uh, Zero Edge product here, I, I was standing a foot away from the screen and I saw no pixel structure whatsoever. You're absolutely not going to. This projector is going to bring you the most lifelike, um, realistic images you're ever going to see. And that's true. I mean, even with a larger format. Now, 4K really excels when you start moving above 100 inches yes. and up to even 180 inches like you had yep. at CES. Now, let's touch on that for a minute because I know some of the flat panels that were shown at CES were only 55 inches. What does that do for 4K? So 4K really lends itself to, to front projection with the large screens. Um, the larger the screen you go or the closer that you're sitting, you're going to see more um, video artifacts such as jaggies and screen door effects. Mm -hmm. 4K really eliminates those, making it a lifelike image. And it truly does. Now, it's not only that it's a 4K projector, but it's also a 3D projector. That is correct. And now, what's it do with the 3D format? Is it up converting that as well? It actually is. Um, because we use native 4K panels, mm -hmm. um, all of your high definition content is going to be upscaled to 4K. The great thing is that way you can get 4K upscaled 3D content and kind of to round it all out and give you the most immersive experience, mm -hmm. you can do upscaled 4K 3D in anamorphic with or without a lens. Well, that really uh, lends itself to be a perfect match for the Black Diamond Zero Edge because we were able to do active 3D with, with the uh, Black Diamond, of course, and we're the only screen on the market that I do truly active 3D with the lights on. Not something you're gonna do with movies, but we're gonna play some video games in 3D, that's very cool, and we're watching- uh, Or sports. Or sports in yeah. 3D, exactly. Who wants to sit in a dark room watching football, right? <laughs> ah, that's a little, <laughs> a little weird, right. <laughs> But um, the other side of that equation is because of the zoom feature, mm -hmm. you can not only do what's most common is 16 by 9 aspect ratios or 235, you can do any format in between, correct? That is correct. Um, we're calling it our picture position mm -hmm. uh, feature, and it's actually, it provides you the capability to do five separate aspect ratios, three of which can be user customizable. Mm -hmm. So this picture position, um, like you mentioned, allows you to be able to do anamorphic without the need for an external lens. It's very fast, it takes, uh, it takes about 10 seconds or so, and uh, very accurate. So anamorphic without the need for moving parts, without the pincushion effect, yep. and it, again, you're not sticking to just one format. You can do 235, 185, any okay. format that the movie actually comes out in, you can actually display it in natively. Absolutely. Uh, but I think that actually, uh, because of the fact of the zoom feature, we're gonna see a lot more 235 anamorphic screens going out, uh, especially with Black Diamond, again, Zero Edge, because one of the advantages we have is there's no need to mask a black diamond. As you can see behind us with the black screen, <clears throat> no complicated masking systems. So just like there's no moving parts with your zoom feature with a black diamond zero edge or a black diamond fixed screen, there's again no need to have moving parts with, uh, you know, uh, uh, with the drapes dropping in. Perfect it. match. It is a perfect match, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, make the perfect combination. Get yourself one of the Sony VW 1000 ES, mm -hmm. match it with one of our black diamond zero edge screens, Put this in your living room, maybe even add a little bit of our backlighting like you can see behind the screen right now, and you've truly got a, a world-class combination. Especially, you know, the VW1000 has 2,000 ANSI lumen brightness, so that really lends to the flexibility of the product. That truly does, and that's, like I said, we can watch this with the lights fully on, which yeah. we'll show you a sample of in just a minute. When you're watching your sports, when you're watching TV, you're playing video games, absolutely no need to turn the lights off. And as we'll show you, not just a little bit of light, but a lot of light. Yeah. So again, this combination, I think, is going to be a real home from, run for both of us. Definitely. Definitely, I agree. All right. Well, thanks again for coming down, Amy. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being here. All right.